Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being taped at Kingdom Studio and is powered by Fly a Fair Nation. We are here tonight on this wonderful Halloween night with the one and only Dem Sugar again. Boo. Gracing us <laughs> for what what is episode 30? We're there. Three zero. Yes. Before we get into all the fun stuff, you know, I'm do a, a smidge political thing and just tell y'all to go vote. If you are able to, if you're a citizen. If you can vote, if you are registered, just go out and vote. Just, that's all. That's all I'm saying about that. I'm not giving y'all no political views or none of that extra stuff. Just, if you can, go and do it. That's it. So, on this wonderful Halloween night, how are you doing, darling? Day, you know. Day, just day, so? Mm-hmm. Just a chill. Just a weird, you know, kind of some stuff to talk about still, but I'm just a chill for now. Oh, you, you're, you're taking it easy. Mm-hmm. Coasting into the night. So I drink that little rum, go yeah, look at Ray and nephew. Um, you know, the views of um them sugar from now, I'm letting y'all know, is influenced by Ray and nephew. Facts. Um, I'm not responsible. I'm not going to say I agree or disagree with any of the content being mentioned on this episode. I'm giving y'all disclaimers because it might get a little bit spicy tonight. Trick so. or treat. Trick or treat indeed. Hey, somebody read my shirt at work today. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Child. It's my Halloween shirt. What's I wear it, it once Show here. me your trick. And I'll show you my treat. What you saying? Uh, I, I'm just saying, you know. But Boom. I'm not sure nobody nothing still. Okay. Um, we was talking about um, trick or treating before we started the show, and when we were younger, and how more laxed it was. <laughs> yeah. In comparison to nowadays. Yeah. And part of me feels like it's because these kids don't play outside, also, so that they don't too. know the people in their neighborhoods. And the world crazy now. Crazy. Or I mean, it was always crazy, but yeah. I guess times just they've evolved yeah because the stuff that they're worried about now like we weren't even really thinking about that type of stuff then you know what i mean see i feel like that's based on where you were though because okay yeah when the first time i ever went trick-or-treating when i came here we went trick-or-treating with neff neff took us trick-or-treating okay and we went to like all the convenience stores we went up and down Mm -hmm. the building we went up and down the block and my mom went through our bags and made sure because my mom is ever paranoid my parents did that though i would lose the bag for like at least two days yeah uh, sit on there like wait um now this is my first time doing trick-or-treating i'm like wait what what huh y'all why are you taking the candy from me check it (laughs) so she checked it that for sure. Yeah, but. we didn't even dress up though. <laughs> but but it's the way they're doing it now. Like the mm-hmm. kids are like walking and then the car is like rolling with the kids. It's like yeah. there's no fun in that. Like you can't even be like, friend, let's duck off to this, go back to that house. That house exactly. got the better candy. You can't do nothing. Little mm-hmm. fun stuff like that. Like yeah. back in the day, we could do that. You could yeah. run off a little bit, come back. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But sucks also, to be y'all, young kids. We were doing it in our neighborhoods and we knew everybody up and down these blocks and their parents knew us and things like that too, or at least have seen us. I'm, well, but, no, because like it was always a thing that you wanted to get the best candy. Oh, and yeah. The best candy, the, it was white neighborhoods. You know, it was, it was the white people. <laughs> I'm going to just say it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, you know, Life was even y'all ramen noodles and like, shit. <laughs> yeah, y'all had the, y'all. Box of matches. If y'all listening, y'all, thanks. <laughs> but they had the best candy. And they would get plenty of it. Yes. You're right. Yes. So that's where we would go. Yeah. All the that's time. That's what I'm saying. Though. It depends on the neighborhood, too. That but I guess that, but exactly. That neighborhood, too, was kind of like, ain't nothing about some white people. Mm-hmm. Here, so. Exactly. And, you know, they bought bags and bags and bags of candy so they can give in in fruitfulness. But you remember how then they were mad friendly. Oh, you could come inside. No, 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 you no, no. Right we're not going to nobody Bruh. yard. Sorry, dear. No. Bruh. Throw the candy out the window. <laughs> <laughs> we got to open the door for me. Shit. Some of them used to be so friendly. Come inside. I'm like, no, mm. no, no. no. I always be like, you want my some mom. Candy? It's you... like, my parents said, no, that's not okay. Like, like it's a me I chat to you from jump. Hey, hey, hey. Uh oh. Sorry, Uh-oh. we have some rude people in the background having side conversation. But yeah, same with so like literally. First of all, I'm not supposed to be talking to strangers. You want me to come in your house? Listen, that's why they follow the, the kids on the street now. For the candy, you want some candy? Hey, you you want some candy? What are you? It's now? not the same candy. The candy gonna taste different <laughs> well, yeah. from if you give it to me outside. It might. When you give it to me, outside. it might. Listen, <laughs> it might. <laughs> I yeah, all type of something was going on. Like, but. Y'all worried about stuff like meth and all types of dumb shit and screws and all that. They were worried about like syringes when Mm -hmm. I was younger. And I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. They, people just suck all around, like from jump. So Mm -hmm. it just elevates from, I guess, what's in at the time to, and then there's people that want to play pranks and put like drugs in there on purpose just to, oh, it'd be fun to fuck this child up. No, it's, it's, it's not fun. That's not okay. Like, why would you do that? But. Because people weird. 
Yeah. I mean, a lot of people go trick-or-treating at the mall, which I always thought was kind of lame because the mall doesn't really like some stores participate and they give you candy like i remember when i've worked in the mall they'd have like a little bowl and you know whatever mm-hmm. but i'm just like that kind of sucks because you're, you're and some them. kids that's all they ever got yeah so yeah they don't get no freedom to roam and like you said like we used to duck off and go down to you know whatever or you might know somebody who live on the next block or something like yo so and so said they're gonna be over here this week or whatever exactly you know and that's that but I think it all comes with the times. Like I said, they don't play outside. They don't do no... They, none of them don't have no street smarts. <laughs> no, at no, all. No street smarts. It's all technology. It's, yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. You already know. Yeah. <laughs> they just sit in the house and it's it's a very sheltered life that they're living now. So this is okay to them. The following them in the car down the street, that to them, that is normal. That's what they've been de- doing since when. So I, that's probably what they're going to be doing when they get older and they have their own children. And, and it's get worse. Well, they're gonna have chips in them by then, so chips, yeah, this, magnetic this chips and girl. tracking chips, locations though. and all that. Listen, don't. Hmm. I don't sleep on nothing. <laughs> Speaking of sleeping on nothing, y'all remember last week, oh, right? Jesus. How I said to y'all, they might be watching me <laughs> if I say something about some, you know, somebody. All right, so you know, after we were done last week, what happened? We got pulled over by the police. I'm never okay. taking you home again. Okay, y'all. You walk in from my house. <laughs> okay. Listen, minding my little black ass business. First off, I thought they was pulling me over for speeding because I was I was going a little a little speedy down the road. It was after that midnight. Heavy ass foot. That's a problem. I wanted to go home to my bed. Okay. It was after midnight. Y'all know my grandma. Sometimes I have work in the morning. We all had work the next day. I was ready to go home. So I'm dropping her off. Literally, like, dog. We wasn't even a ten minute walk from your house. Like. It was a hop and a skip. After the whole ordeal, we come back. The policeman just driving off. That's how close you were to where we got pulled over. We get pulled over. This little short man with Napoleon syndrome Mm-mm. come up to the window about license and registration. Um, hi, good evening. Um, why are you pulling us over? Oh, what well, he said? My tins was too dark. No, my tag. My tag was obscured. You had everything going on that night. Listen, if you live in the state of Florida and you listen to this podcast. Make sure y'all don't get pulled over for fuckery. You apparently, Florida law states that we cannot have any kind of covering over the tag. Now, mind you, this is not a covering over the face of the tag. It's any border around the tag. So when you go to a dealership, when you get the cute little thingies that says, you know, a little tiger print or whatever the hell mm-hmm. around the any kind of border, that's illegal in the state of Florida, according to this officer. But he didn't write me a ticket for that though. No, no, because that's that's what he pulled me over for. But he, I ain't get a ticket for that. My tints were too dark in the front. Didn't test that either. Didn't tell me that was, you know, I don't know my percentage. He's He could have tested it, but he knew for sure that it was wrong. It was too dark. Yeah. Y'all, he was full of shit. <laughs> Let's just, look, I don't got the time. He was full of shit. Then he had a partner who was even more full of shit. He was high. <laughs> Something was up with them. All to. I know is we it was stupid shit. Like it was the end of you know, end of the month type shit, I swear. But mm-hmm. I told you they'd be watching. Y'all think all right, yeah, I think it's a joke. Yeah, it was and I think also on top of that, I, I hate to do this, but I feel like it was racial profiling also. Oh, yeah. Like where we were, North Miami Beach, black people in the car, and then the the backup guy, he's mentioned at least twice about how nice the car is, and I'm sitting here like my nigga, it's an Altima. Like, not to downplay it, but why are you so hype about this car right now, sir? And then his black charger or whatever that kept mm-hmm. driving around that yeah, nobody he, saw but him. They was different, real different. It was some different kind of cops, though. For but real. you know what I peeped, though, that I thought about afterwards? When we were sitting in the car waiting for him to run my information and everything, you saw two cop cars drive by after the fact. Correct. Bruh, I'm wondering what the call was for backup. Like, what did he say on the back, like, when he called for backup? Because why were so many cops rushing mm-hmm. to the scene right and i hate seeing like people pulled over on the side of the road with like 50 cop cars and there's two yeah. people sitting there and it's like what did they do scary yeah like you know what i'm saying and then the amount of people that driving by slow, yeah driving like the people that were driving by looking at us like hmm what's going on what's yeah like, but... and he's sitting there almost like if we ever been on world star what no yeah, have we ever been on world star yo he was wilding i don't even no. know what he was on yo for i don't know <laughs> I don't know. He was on something though. Had he to was be. trying to be on something because he kept asking you about weed and yeah, your, CBD, what was it? <laughs> like CBD oil and weed oil. Like, what's wrong with you, sir? I honestly feel like he was trying to find a way to get high and not be detected. And not be det- Yeah, he need to chill out because he kept asking. He's like, where was he from again? It? South Carolina. If you don't move along, boy. <laughs> 
He kept asking, does it make you like, <laughs> is it like leave you like couch bent? Like, do you like not have like, yeah, you don't all feel, of that. And I'm all like, nah, my nigga, it's like chamomile tea, chill. Like, like why are you asking me stupid questions? Go move around, boy. Google. Google. Just big and dumb. Goofy. <laughs> like, no. And the short one really had a problem, though. Like, he. He, he was really, really no. He really had a problem, <laughs> and I hate to like typecast people, but he really had like a real severe case of Napoleon, Napoleon syndrome, syndrome because yeah. he was little bit and he just was real buff up. Like he was just like yeah, all his of, chest he was, was all up in his neck. He, and yeah, it, yeah his shoulder, his shoulder and chin, bro. Like it was no <laughs> neck in there. Like he was just like, yeah, this is what we're doing, my oh, nigga. Shit. Who shitted your tea this morning? Like what's up? Listen, good morning. And like, then, and, but it's not even that. Then when homeboy said the big and dumb one goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, you know, he just really, he, what did he say? He just really wanted to pull y'all over. Is apparently. Like, if y'all don't. Apparently. Oh, man. Because that tag shit is bullshit. Because I even asked him, because I'm a smart ass. I was like, um, so any car that passes here, y'all can get, y'all can pull yeah, them over yeah. because they have a frame around it. Because I could count at least 15 of these shits. Like, so everybody can get pulled. He's like, oh, well, it's a case by case kind of situation. Why the fuck y'all pulled me over? If like literally, I can guarantee you at least seventy five percent of the cars in South Florida, South Florida alone, state of Florida, period, have a border around it. Most car dealerships put that shit on there when you buy a car. Even if you buy from one little rinky dink one down the street, they got their little thing around there that says, "Hey, they bought the car here." You know what I'm saying? They sell these shits like all over the place. So if it's illegal, why is it so popular? And why don't why doesn't anybody get pulled over for the shit? Like. Y'all got, y'all dumb. Like, that's stupid. So, that alone was funny. But the reason he, what I did get a ticket for, which I thought was hilarious, was the front tint came below the line that you can only see from the inside of the car. Y'all, when I tell you, there was something (laughs) popping up every, like, every two, three minutes, something (laughs) new was happening. It was just all bullshit. Yeah, but he peeped that when he searched the car. That's the only way. Because if you can only see it from the inside of the car, how you know it's too long, like, it's too far down. And like I said, when I was telling you, it, there's an arc in that. I, I haven't gotten as petty as to get the ruler and measure it because I know for a fact that it is an arc. It's lower on one side and higher in the middle. I'm like, bruh, like, that's so why I kept asking him. I was like, can you show me where this line is? Like, can you point it to me? He's like, oh, I can't show you from it. Well, can you get in the car and show me you was just in there? Like, you know ain't nothing in there to harm you. Nothing going to jump out and bite you. Like, what's up? Wh- where's the line? Oh, you, you have to go in there. It's right. And I'm like, all right, my guy. You you short and you got problems today. It's okay. It's all right, honey. A tall man took <laughs> your wife. Do not talk about short people having problems. Well, no, it's not him. All not all of them. That's why I said I don't like to typecast yeah, him because got, he... Yeah, ooh. he got... Yeah, I don't know. Something with him. Yeah, he had a... He had it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was not my friend that night. Yeah, Usually... His, his woman got... Yeah, she did. Yeah, something a tall, happened. A tall, tall guy got her or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, he upset. But yeah, I mean, they say it all the time when you get pulled over by police, just do what they say. Yes, don't don't be extra rude and all ignorant and all that fun stuff. No, they you have know. to get a little sarcasm now. Let's yeah. not get because I'm sitting here like, what did on. I do? They was gonna get a lot of sarcasm because it <laughs> and was we frustrating. We sitting there laughing. <laughs> it was very frustrating watching this man like play with my bottle of CBD oil. Like, <laughs> sir, why are you playing with it like this? Either you gonna take it or you're not. Yeah, ma'am, I'm just trying to do take it or don't take it. Like, bruh. Either you gonna take. I was seconds away from saying, "Nigga, you can pull out your phone and Google the shit." Like you oh, asking man. a question, she's answering a question I'm telling to you. you. The smoke, the smoke shop where I got it, I could bring you right past there right now, dog. You even sure. told him that you had a one hitter on you, so it's like Bruh. we're not trying to hide the fact that you indulge in the use of marijuana. Nah, You're not exactly. even trying to hide it. I'm what trying the to fuck? let y'all know. It's, it's not weed. He's talking some. Oh, you know, some people squeeze the um well, look like THC oil into. I don't have like, no time for that. This big ass bottle. Weirdos. It's a squeeze bottle on top of that. That's so what you, the young kids is doing. I go. Nah. I go. Y'all gotta chill. <laughs> For real. They have time. I. I don't. That was. That was. That was fun. So that's what happened with that. So yeah. Mm. So I'm not driving in North Miami no more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> take the tints off the car. Just have the. I told the man it was ugly. So I said, "You want me to drive without the thing around it?" He was like, "Yeah, that's illegal." I said, "That's ugly though." <laughs> he looked at me like, "What?" I was like, "That's ugly." <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That shit just look naked, just flap it in the wind. Like you a next goofy one. And there's like. not even any like screw thingies on the bottom for it to hold out either. So just gonna cuck off and just like really? Just nothing, just dead ass stuff. Yeah. Robots, you know, like a boots. Not, Whoa. No, just cover it up like a bit protection. What? Y'all know no. what robots is? And boots, y'all. <laughs> okay. Some people do, some people don't, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Fun stuff. Look at you. Why you look so oh Jesus. I feel like you are brewing over there. Like you building up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, I'm chilling. I'm I'm good. We you good. chilling? Yeah. You chilling? What you got? What you got? What you got? Well, I want to talk about the um. I don't like this word, but wait, wait a minute. No, no, no. Because the the something you just saw before we came in here with the girl, she males. You know they have like a whole porn category for she males, right? All right, so there's this um, very gorgeous young lady. Is it Paris is her name? T.S. Paris or something like that? I went, I was on her page. I was hold like, on, yes, hold sis. on. Let me just ask. Are mm-hmm. you talking about Twitter today? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Um, there's a video of this young lady in the bathtub. And, you know, butt naked, of course, she's in a tub. She's Beautiful. playing in the water. Gorgeous, right? Tattooed, whatever. And she's playing with herself, whatever, Titties. whatever. Yeah, nice. breasts nice, all that good stuff. Flat stomach, shape nice, all that good shit. Right? And she's playing with herself. And then next thing you know, she picks up her penis. Bruh. And <laughs> somebody, <laughs> well, the first thing that caught my eye was somebody said, wouldn't this be the perfect person for a bisexual? And I responded and I said, depends on the preference of the bisexual. Now, I'm sorry that I'm not Twitter famous. So I got a little hundred likes. And I was like, oh, shit, my shit popping. Girl, see? Hey. Exactly. Cause I do it for the for the for the culture. I don't do it for the extraness. <laughs> like I'm just like it depends on the person. Yes, a hundred. Uh, okay. Did you pin yeah. it? Yeah. No, I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Pin no, that. No, no. It was a response. Pin? It wasn't a quote. It Which was a you, response. Can't you still pin it even if it's a response? I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, can. But, oh, I would have pinned that. I pin, well, Look, I can still pin it. I'm at a hundred. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so, oh, you know, I I reposted. Mm-hmm. I said since y'all blowing the shit up. Go follow my podcast. I tag, you know, I put Spotify and all the little links or whatever. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, and some little up. ignorant batty boy I come in and say some fuckery. Hold on. Talking about... <laughs> well, first of all, if you a man and you looking at um, penis, um, either you're bisexual uh-huh. or, you know, because you scrolling through all the comments. Well, yeah. Why? Okay. So then, I... <laughs> him and his next friend come now. And they are like, oh, what do you d- consider a lot of likes? We're blowing up or some shit like that. And I'm like... Y'all don't have nothing better to do today? I said, but y'all find y'all way here. What? Go read a book. I was like, really? This is what y'all doing? You know people weird. Yeah. However, back to... Yeah. So... Her. Yes. And... Her. Her. Correct. Okay. Her. Okay. So, it's funny. Remember I was telling you to listen to Diana Michi um, Facebook Live last night. Right. She was talking... I saw it before she went on live because it popped up last night on my Twitter. Um, but today just went crazy. Like they they ran wild with the video today. The girl, yeah. It's like I saw it since morning, and I was mm-hmm. just like, oh, it's just a girl with her titties. Scroll, yeah. Because I don't have time to be looking <laughs> at no more titties it. and no more girls. I was just like, scoop, <laughs> scoop, scoop. Right. So then I was like, I got home today, and I was like, you know what? Let me click on this. Click it. Chilling. Boom. Watching it. All of a sudden, out the water. Whoops. I was like, wait, <laughs> is that a? Oh, yes, it she, is. She has a. Yes, she does. She has a tail. Yes, she does. And it ain't no small tail, it is ladies not. and gentlemen. She is well endowed. Whoa. I was like, well endowed. I was like, <laughs> I was like boop. Okay. And listen, and they are paying for it. Like, who? They are paying for it. She's because an escort. Because living, living nicely, too. Uh, I see you. Plush. I see a hustle, girl. Girl, go right ahead, sis. Go right ahead. Her pictures. Uh, bitch, you are out here working. So you know when you, you click, click until you end up clicking? Oh, yes, I did, too. I, okay, I, I so I click, click until I ended up on her page. Yes, and I scrolled, mm-hmm. and um, there's a whole market. There was um, Lots. this one, yeah, some videos, and wow, yeah. y'all, yeah. I ended up on a whole Twitter, a whole Twitter account that was just, you know, trans women, like just oh, with with yeah, tails, yes, Child. that were still, you know, out here actively pounding these poor boys out. I was just, you know, I don't know. Okay, check it out, right? So. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's easier for a lot of yes. women with tails mm-hmm. or to tuck. Yeah. But for her, in her case, she, like we said, is not, high does not tucking. have a small tail. She is high tech so tucking. So I'm, I've always been curious about this tucking situation. Like, I put it between the butt cheeks. Is that really how it goes? I don't know. I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I well, mean, that's, I mean, if you ball it up, well, actually, someone, if you what it up, oh, if you ball like, it, Cuff, cuff it, make pum pum look fat. Nah, why would What's you? What's it? What you call it? Oh yeah, Freya said whoa. that to me. She said she. <laughs> whoa, chill. Freya did say that when I interviewed. She said, "Yeah, make my pussy look fat." I said, "Yes, bitch." Wait, so she, hold up. So 
You cur- what you mean curl it? Like not curl it, but like you don't tuck it all the way. You leave a little bit so it got like a fluffing at the front, so it look buff up. Like say what she got her little good. print. Okay, yeah, I don't know. So you okay. don't pull it way back, and you know you still got. A little I don't. Extra. I really have no clue, but okay. <laughs> That's just what I heard. That's I'm just with what it. I heard. I'm with it. Whatever exactly. works. They know how to. They make it look. Yeah, they yeah, do what so. they do. Listen, they are paying sis out here, so she is living a life. Yeah, we just here was, talking about that was it. nice she, and juicy today for me. I was like, okay. <laughs> Listen, I got my fill. I was in there. At one point, I was like, wait a minute. How did I end up here? <laughs> I end up on a whole other page. Click, click, click. So, Like, literally, it was just all. And I'm like, okay, I did some. read some of the comments, though. Some yeah. of the comments were real interesting. Yeah. Some people are. It's like, you were here long enough to watch this and comment? Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's Thank you. Hmm, but those are the same people that's out here soliciting. Because right. you see her, and you're like, oh, my gosh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. But you're the one bent over, and... And then what? Mm-hmm. You go back, go talk about her? Mm-hmm. Mm. She got videos of you. You paid for it. Mm-hmm. Keep trucking. Because at the end of the day, that's what was funny to me. Because after somebody posted You know it, how many people about to slide up in her? Oh, yeah. Listen. She getting all the coins. The fuck you mean? All the coins. And y'all can't keep her. She is not for pay. Like, you you, you get a certain slot, mm-hmm. and you carry on with your life. Like, she got you her money. You know what it is to even schedule, like, an appointment, whatever, with her? Like... She had a whole website, son. Whole website. And just anybody can make a website. But the way her own set up, nice. she got video. She got a little slideshow with all her pictures. She got her rates. Got, you can donate to her. I was like, but see a lot. You imagine. Donate I know, just for what? I know she is with some. Look, some. She got pictures in LA. She in Miami one weekend. She, go, go, bitch. Go right ahead, girl. <laughs> go right ahead. Better for you. Go, go right ahead. But... Off that, I was talking about um, the topic of, you know, transgender versus transsexual. Because a lot of people don't know the difference. That's what I was saying. Diana was talking about it. Um, I saw the caption. Yeah, she was talking about that on the show. Um, and it sparked something to me. I was like, yo, for real, though, a lot of people don't know the difference. Like, transgender is your identity. Transsexual is the actual genitalia portion of it, which a lot of people kind of just, like, interchange it and just like oh you're transgender oh you're no like transsexual that means they went through the procedure they have the process their sexual member is now in accordance with Mm -hmm. what they their gender specified as so you know like i always try to come out and say i'm a cisgendered woman i was born a woman i identify as a woman if one day, you know, I realized all these years of me calling myself a grown ass man was, you know, deeply rooted, you know, identity <laughs> crisis, and I, you know, I need to change Y'all, my gender. <laughs> you know what I do? Because I used to get them mixed up myself. I just keep it at trans because I can't. There you go. I look trans. There you is, go. Because you know, I just don't want to. I don't like offending people. So you know exactly. What I mean? so but I that's trans. what I'm saying. Like I, I myself has had my ignorant moments where I've, you know intersex and interchange and like oh you're transgender transsexual but you said who's cisgender I, i'm cisgendered no you don't think so carry on no i just want to <sighs> back. Jesus, just check. my life you know <clears throat> last i heard i was a lesbian but we you know i keep with exceptions the- <laughs> <Get us. laughs> you know one or two yes so yeah mm-hmm. but i had a conversation with somebody right it is halloween <laughs> It is Halloween. (laughs) The Halloween. (laughs) Um, And we're talking about grown up things, you know, getting older. Why you have to look so? I thought you meant sex. That's not what you was talking about, huh? No. How old? You meant grown up things like, oh, like like, planning a life together. Like 401k? Yeah, wow. and things like that. I Fierce thought it was skin. sex. I got so excited. Wow, shit. Go ahead. <laughs> well, before we get to all the sex, we get to all the scary okay, stuff. Okay, so we are going to get to sex. Yes, we are <laughs> going to get to the sex. But <laughs> we're talking about um, relationships and, you know, moving into the same direction with the person you're in a relationship with, cohabitating, planning for a future, whatever, whatever. So apparently, Smarty Man broke up with them because them never did want go in that direction. Hold on. Let me stretch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stretch look a bit. So, I was curious because people them, you know, them in a white hall and, um, I'm sorry? They're a Jehovah's Witness. Okay. Right? And their partner is not and they were talking about cohabitating. You know, you know, we're approaching our thirties, or some of we reached thirty already. And they're like, you know, we've been doing this for a minute now, a couple years now. Da 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 da. 
it's time for us to take the next step and move in together. Okay. You know, start planning adulthood and steps for the future. Right? What? 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 You have something to say? I was going to say, I've, you know... I've been finding a lot of couples out there mm-hmm. with, um, you know, religious views Ooh. just no on the opposites. You know, <clears throat> someone is a non-believer of anything that like, no, I mean, of anything like they don't believe in cheese. I don't, they believe in a cheeseburger, like nothing. Mm-hmm. And then you have this one person is like, I believe in God or whoever. Uh-huh. Very interesting. That's happening lately. I see a lot of it, but carry on. Okay. So. The conversation went something to the sort of, you know, I'm tired of playing the games and the children thing, picking something, da 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 da. I said, all right, yeah, man, I understand what you said, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, so what happened? You know, y'all together? I'm like, you know, y'all getting back together, whatever. Y'all do this shit every so often. No, no, no. I'm trying to move in and da Wow, very crazy. What a blood clot. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> ways so you know and i was just like well from my stance i was thinking about you know how old people are like oh you're shacking up nothing's gonna come from that mm-hmm. why buy the car when you get the milk for free blah 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 all of those things came to me i was like maybe <laughs> maybe this person maybe she has an idea that after y'all moving together nothing is gonna come from it right y'all just gonna live together be boyfriend and girlfriend for the rest of her life you right. know that was one aspect and i was like okay Maybe she is not ready for the responsibility of paying her own bills and having to worry about rent, water, light, electricity, trash, etc. You know, maybe that's one thing. And then I was like, maybe it's support from her family. Because what if on a mashup, like for real, for real now, <laughs> and you done moved in with this man and y'all got all this and now you got to figure out what you're doing after you left your Jehovah Witness family and they're kind of like... I don't know how they are as far as, you know, all that fun stuff, but I could imagine. I mean, they don't celebrate birthdays. Nothing. But <laughs> Nothing. Birthdays. Nothing. But, you know, like, I could imagine the toll that would be, because that was a big strain on their relationship. Also, like, the fact that he's so, like, relaxed in his faith and everything is um, Christian and all that good stuff. You know, his mom was real cool. They mm-hmm. could, whatever. But he couldn't go to the house. He couldn't, like, it was real, like, nah, we're not, we not tolerating none of that over here. See what I'm saying? As a grown-ass man, it's kind of like, do I really want to deal with this for how much longer? Like, we can't get a place together? Why not? You know? I feel like, all of those factors come into play. I don't know the full extent of their conversation, but I was just like, damn. Because I know this man been trying to, like, do, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my dog. And I was just like, yo, huh, that's tough. Very. Because they've been together, like, when I say they've been together for years. And I'm like, is that a deal breaker for you? Like, if you, let's say you, right, decide that one day you want to settle down with somebody, Right, you you want <clears> to <throat> hitch up and get married and plan a future for real, <clears throat> right? A, a real future with somebody. <clears throat> a real future talk, with shit. somebody. Well, let me take off this mask. <laughs> We're ahead. taking off masks yeah, on Halloween. Let's go. Okay, right, and you decide you want to start making a steps in that direction. If the person is hesitant or doesn't show the same kind of interest, is that a deal breaker for you, or is that something you would stop and try to sympathize with, or what would your approach be as far as things like that go? I would love to say that I would love to be the type of person that's like, oh, you hesitant? Bye. But mm-hmm. I'm not. Right? I would try and give it, like, some, like, I wonder why, what if, I want to know what's going on, mm-hmm. whatever, whatever. Then it's when I get to know what's going on, then I could validate if it even, <laughs> this doesn't make no <laughs> sense. Okay, so I'm done. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If it If it's something that's like, okay, well, hold up. Maybe we can, mm-hmm. maybe I'm not seeing something from your point of view. But, like, if it just sound like shit, it sound like shit. And I'm going to just be like, look here. <laughs> um, okay. This was you fun. You have time, I And I don't have it. Speaking of time to be, look. Oh, child. Everybody. You have it? No, but I'm okay. not. Let's go on. Take it. Okay, everyone. I have seen, look. These past couple months, I have noticed, like, a whole trend. If y'all don't want to be with these people, <clears throat> Get out. Like, stop dating these people. Don't don't marry these people. Ooh. All of that bullshit. Like, just stop. Like, cut it out. Cut it's it hot. out. If you don't want to be with somebody, don't be with them. Like, I'm tired now. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired of it because I see it every day. I hear about it every day. Mm-hmm. From it. 
Listen, you, you said a that miserable mo- look. Yeah. Walking around because everybody upset because they with people they don't want to be with. Yep. Then, ev- <sighs> yo, the come sex on. Sex not good if they're getting sex. You're not sexually attracted to the person you oh with. Oh my gosh, everything. You're not attracted. Like, y'all not even friends in real life. Like, everything. y'all only just dedic for what? For who? Why? I'm I'm good. Like, it's just a lot of it going on. We're like, getting too old for that shit. The, like, and it's a lot of y'all women. Hello? Mm. What y'all doing? And y'all be mad young. Mm. Settling for what? Stop playing. Mm. Stop. Yeah. I feel you. Like, we all been there, but stop the shit. Yeah. I mean, the on the topic of we all been there, we all been there. Just for take real, off for the real. mask for real, for real. You see how I took mine off? Yeah, take that shit off too. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, it's Let enough. Hang it's out. enough. Whew. That's not even from the rum. That's from me. It's enough. Leave. Get out. Do something. I don't know, but leave. Yeah. That's, ooh, child. Mm. Some situations are way more laxed, and, and some it don't people make been no leaving sense. and can't leave, half stepping. Mm. Okay, you too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, yo, <laughs> you too, hun. Hun, mm-hmm. mm. Lord Jesus. Yep. And to sis over there who want to leave and plotting in her head how she gonna leave. I'm gonna need you to figure that out. Pack up your clothes and left. Right there. I mean, ah. <laughs> uh, you know, see the man I match every move where you make? Ah. Uh, nice lyrics. They have lyrics for this, you know? Yeah, lyrics. <laughs> they might throw what in that song from Wappy Kill Phillips. I want to go on. Whoa. See the legs, I want to know what I go when? on. Since when? Shut up. <laughs> okay. Since when? All right. <laughs> Not talking to you no more. But I'm saying, like, everybody just, come on, yo. Yeah. I'm Me sad. Too. There's a lot of unhappy like women out there. Like I'm yes. speaking to women, especially like gay, straight. All, it don't even matter, yo. That's in these crazy ass relationships, and a lot of them. <clears throat> I understand the whole comfort thing, right? Mm. A lot, a lot comfort. of it is for comfort. Sometimes you just gotta. <laughs> I caught that. Yeah, some of it is for comfort, but that comfort should get real tired real quick. So yeah. Because yeah. you're comfortable for so long and then you're And then on. you become uncomfortable. Yeah. And then it's you look real after like... that. It's real after you become real uncomfortable. Then then what? And how much time did you spend being comfortable, quote unquote, before you get to this point? We're not living forever. I got to tell y'all something, though. I'm learning, though, that being like alone and single is not a bad thing, y'all. It's not. I'm learning, right? Don't judge me. Okay. It's not. It I'm is learning, a great right? thing. It is a I'm great thing. It. I mean, I've done it for periods of time mm-hmm. before, but I think I'm, it means a lot more now in life because yeah. I've been through a lot more things. Mm-hmm. So it means a lot more like peace and finding peace yeah. with myself Ooh. and being by myself. Listen. You feel me? So that, y'all, find some of that because yeah. these relationships is for the birds Poof. and <laughs> look, let these people go. Peace Ooh. is priceless. Let them go. People gonna be listen. Whoever gonna feel some type of way gonna feel some type of way, but just let that shit go, bro. Just let it go. I don't care. Let it go. Let mm-hmm. it go. A whole one, a whole nigga. Let it go. And if you know you don't really want to be with somebody, let that go too. Yeah. And if you know somebody don't want to be with you, let that go too. Who? Come again. If you feel like the person don't want to be with you, let that shit go too. All the okay? way. All right. Just boop. Yeah. Just drop it. You know, some people know say your feelings kind of soft, and you might ball a little bit, and you might, you know. You might be a danger to yourself. Don't do it. We get one life. Make sure you live your best life. Sometimes, you know, honestly, sometimes I feel like people are afraid to end relationships because they're afraid that nothing better will come. Huh? Don't make me start preaching now. Mm-hmm. So sometimes that relationship ends for you to cut into a better situation. Ooh. Better relationship, better job, better living situation. Holy but something can come. You know <clears> what I'm saying? You might meet somebody that's just a real good friend after you leave the situation and you might end up in a position where, yo, you are doing way better than you've ever done in your life. Say that again. Dog, y'all holding on to these negative situations out of comfort. When Say you that again. Be in Say such that again. One more time. Better places, okay? You might meet somebody or be put in a situation where you are doing better than you've ever done before because you left that negative space. Okay? All right. Y'all I'm heard? Y'all heard? I'm just saying. Y'all heard? If no part of you wants to be in this relationship, leave the relationship. You heard. What other people think don't matter. Is your relationship at the end of the day. Facts. 
if you happy, you happy. But if you're not, what are you doing? Facts. Listen, this not even just for women, for everybody. Big facts. Like, there's men in relationships that's not happy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, what are you staying for? For real, what are you staying for? There's so many options in this world for help. Like, mm-hmm. if you need financial help, go go get a loan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's sh- that's not it. And then what? And that's what that's my thing though, because I've been in a situation where I was comfortable and I stayed in it because I was comfortable. Appreciate but I was that. also very depressed. So it wasn't even like, oh, I'm afraid of no, I was just fucking depressed. So Preach. I was I really didn't care. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was just literally going through the motions day by day. I just went through life, you know? And I knew in my heart that I didn't want to be in that relationship. You know what I'm saying? There was things you in the always relationship. always know exactly. when you no longer want to be mm-hmm. in the relationship. Even if there are times where you've been like, nah, 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 yeah. and go back, nah, and there's and some go good back, times You too get in to that good moment where you feel it on the inside Ooh. and it cracks and it's just like, this is it yep. for me right here. Whew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when you get there, huh. you feel light. You do. <laughs> because you find peace with everything after that. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. you're just like, oh, that's what that shit was. All right. And then you begin to see everything. Yeah. It's like you begin to see everything from the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. And you're watching yourself. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, this is what the was really mm-hmm. going on. And it plays like a movie in front of you. Yep. you. Trust. Trust. And then it's just, yeah, this trust. was fun. Um, Yeah. And let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> so, so dub. Yeah. Like, this this, this not it, bro. Like, my bad. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, you know. Nice Y'all knowing you. Get right. Thanks for the experience. One life. And don't ever look at it as time wasted. Everything is a lesson learned. Learned. Because you learned something from that situation. Right. Either about yourself or how you take people or how you present yourself. Everything is a lesson learned. Okay? Just dog. And you know what I was gonna say? You know that song on Twitter the other day? What was it? Um, you know how it was um I love it. If i if I've ever been the toxic person in someone's oh. life, right? Mm-hmm. You hope that they removed you. I'm with that too. I retweeted that and liked if, it. Same. Like more than once, I think. Mm-hmm. If I am the toxic person in your life, do me a favor and remove me. Do yourself the favor. I am totally okay with that. Like if I'm like, yeah. look, you could, that's fine. Because I know I'm an arrogant, cocky motherfucker sometimes. I can be real ignorant. Okay? Nobody even watching you. I'm just saying. Move rock. Uh, nobody that hmm. not watch you. You fuck for no. Come go with me. So, you know, whatever the case is, block me. You know, I'm okay with being blocked. I've had, oh, I've had. about that block feature? A lot. Oh, look, yuck. Let me tell. Huh. <laughs> look, block some things going to be happening. Okay? A new day is coming. If you happen to be looking for something that you can no longer find it, that means you're blocked. Oh, Jesus. But, you know, nothing personal. You know. Or nothing like that. Or very personal. Peace of mind. It's free. So, you know? I ain't really never had to block. Look, y'all. Okay, go. <laughs> I'm done. Go. I, I'm trying to think. I've only ever blocked one person. I don't block people. So when I block Neither people, do I. getting on my damn nerves. Yeah. You got to keep the peace. So, you know? Yeah. It might be for the best sometimes. All right. Oh, wait. But yeah, I've only ever blocked one person that I dated. What was that? Remember something. What'd you remember? Remember something. Oh, shit. Remember something. So many blocks my day, so many never did. Because them just did start get on my nerves. Like, Ahem. I just, mm. I don't. Does this person have to do with me as well? No, no. Thank God. No, no. But I want to be, I'm easily annoyed. Okay. And I ignore people really well for the most part. I just got a text. What am I doing uh, tonight? Tonight. Um, what time is it? It is after 10 o'clock. You are going to bed. What am I doing tonight? Sleep. Um. In your bed. <laughs> In your bed. By yourself. <laughs> Somebody's trying to give me a black cat. It's a joke, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Yo. So everybody who did text you is going to listen to this episode and be like, um, who texted you at 1021 p.m. and said, what are you doing tonight? Do it so I can block you. <laughs> Because I'm blocking everybody. <laughs> so be the name of the show. I'm blocking everybody. For real. You're going to be on Twitter by your damn self. So for real, block. Block <laughs> and block. It's just going to be me and you up there. They're going to have to log out because you know my page public. You have to log out just to go read the tweets. It's been done. <clears throat> it's been done. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
sorry, water. But anyways, you done throwing wood? You good? You got that off your chest? You know I'm cool for right now, but you could like, go ahead, yo. Go ahead. (laughs) You got something? You got like, could well, you be having little statements and shit? Well, no, I was, I was trying to find a good poem to read because remember I was saying I was gonna start reading a poem or so. Nah, bump something. that. What about the joke that you told me earlier? No. Oh gosh, the Halloween something. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Okay. Well, I was browsing through the internet, you know, because you made fun of my interwebs the other day, and I saw um, Janelle post. It was said, "I carved the real nightmare. We should be." <laughs> God, it said I carved the real nightmare we should be highlighting as Halloween, and there's a pumpkin illuminated and it's carved out and it says "Lazy Tops," <laughs> right? Nightmare on Bottom Street. So <laughs> that tickled. Yo, Nightmare on Bottom Street. <laughs> I'm Lazy sorry. Tops. People is yeah creative, creative. for real, for real. Because that is real funny to me. <laughs> nightmare on Bottom Street. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> here you go with the laughter and shit Jesus <laughs> yeah, but no sh- for real though lazy tops lazy tops <laughs> why are you a top lazy why are you a Just top like, you don't know like, huh, let, we going in there we, okay. why, why, why are you a top I'm a lazy bottom so I mean so you're a pillow princess yeah okay mm-hmm. but lazy tops are they like to be on top, but they just want to get by. Oh, like that girl. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Janae. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I hate people put on. I really do. Which girl are you talking about? Because we, look, we done been to Tangerine. some Tangerine. <laughs> I hate when people put on. What is that? Like, oh, You're, like she. Remember. Ugh. Like you all talk and you doing all this, but you bent up in a kana. <laughs> like uh, bent up in a kana. Like who are you topping? On kana. Who are you <laughs> topping, my nigga? Like my th- <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, like this top thing, y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay, we get to the top and bottom conversation. We can wait do a that. minute. All right, hold on. So I'm burst. You should not be. <laughs> You should not be a top if you lazy. For real, for real. Like, just lay, like, go lay down. Like, nobody has time for that. For you to be over here doing some wild, like, I can't even, can't even explain to y'all right now. But you shouldn't be on top if you lazy. That's a dub. Honestly, because what exactly is a lazy top? Like, what are you doing? Like, you, you, just... hu- you like humping, but you not humping. For real, for real. You like laying on them while you humping. Like, some gross shit. Yeah. Yeah, like you need to get Ew, up. That sounds like the nasty sweaty. Exactly. Ew. That's exactly how I would see it, which I don't think is cool. And nobody I'm wants about that. for boys, though. Like, what would a lazy top be? Does that mean they only want them to ride? Is, would that be considered as a lazy top? You would have to ask. I'm going to find me I wonder a if I could call someone. You think I could call, call someone? Somebody. Can I call someone? Call somebody. Can I? Call somebody. Okay. I'll call somebody. Okay. You can call someone? <laughs> Holy you shit. can trust my word. Hold this, hold this. Pull out this, pull out this, because he just... Make sure you put the phone to the Yeah, make sure you put it on speaker and all that fun stuff. Oh, Jesus. Who you calling? I don't know. I want to know if I could call this fool who oh. just texted me. Oh. Oh. I want to know. Okay, yeah, definitely. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put him on a thing. We'll see how he feels. Lazy Tops. We'll see how he feels about it. That might be the title. Lazy Tops. <laughs> But no, seriously though, and I talked about it on here before. I think um, bad head, receiving bad head, Jesus, that's just another category of like. I have a question for you. Oh, you gonna answer? Mm-mm. Okay, so my question: What is a lazy top? A lazy top. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a. Basically, uh, you know what a top is, right? Of course. Okay, yeah. So it's just some. It's just basically a top that is like, I guess is like, like, <laughs> just like boring, or it's like, you you know what I'm saying? D- boring. So boring. So no style, no yeah. nothing. Just like probably like one position type thing. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Thank you for the information. <laughs> bye bye. Well, there you have it, kids. One position I te- and I text boring. You, I text you back. I'm sorry. 
You see black people? I text you. I t- mm. Okay. But you- <laughs> So <laughs> that's basically no style. Yeah. Boring. So no man. rhythm. So boring. boring jump, man. jump. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Short Japan. <laughs> All of that fun stuff. So like, what were you? Head. You were saying something. Just I now. was saying about people who give bad head. You, um, what in men? Women. Well, either or. Either men or. Because we talk women. about either or, though. Because everybody, rece- yeah, everybody receives head at, in some form or another, you know? But, mm-hmm. but don't they say, what's that saying? They be like, well, a girl knows how to give a girl. Yeah. Right? They mm-hmm. do that, right? So That's bullshit, though. We know that. Mm-hmm. You you think everybody should know how to give head? Just I feel like... Boom. Hulk... <laughs> you think everybody's gonna know how to give good head? No, not off rip, but I feel like if you care enough, you'll put forth the effort to find out. Some people and, don't. Oh. Some people, oh, it's just a just to get it ready. It's what I t- two clean swipes, and that's it. <laughs> two Sorry, clean y'all. Swipes. Sorry. <laughs> With the sound For effects, real, two clean swipes, and they trying to jump in it. Whoa. Well. See, considering I'm not nobody's strap daddy, um, I, per- I I take joy and pleasure in cunnilingus in delivering it. Oh, oh so, so you like to- okay. Sorry for y'all who is not with it. <laughs> She'd like to give head next. If y'all don't know what cunnilingus is from now, like by now, like come on now, it means I like to eat vagina. Specify. So meow. <laughs> so me personally, I'm kind of like bewildered when people are like, oh yeah, bad head. I'm like, wait, what? Like. How? You just go down there and spell your name a couple times. Like, what do you do? Don't you bite be it off. Down, you be in, Girl. You be in these, wow, <laughs> spelling your name. It's a joke. That's just one of those stereotypes no, that I'm they always saying. say. I ain't say, I ain't say, I ain't never done Look it at now. You. <laughs> I ain't spell my whole name. I spelled like my, the cut, you know, the short version of my name. You know what I'm saying? You Nothing spell crazy. Cat cat. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather do a figure eight. Know what I mean? Uh, you know. Oh. Mm. No, I don't know. Shut <laughs> Y'all probably on there like, oh, that's what she... <laughs> no, stop it. It's silly. <laughs> Not like but no, that. like, that's what I'm saying. No, like, I feel like if you're passionate about it and if you care about doing it, that makes it better. For the per well, for the person. Of course. As long as you're not literally like gnawing at it. Like that's always been my problem. Like gnawing. Like people be- I've gnawing heard stories on, on... of people having their vagina bitten up during like receiving oral sex. And I'm just I, like you know what I don't like? Hmm. Is people look like why must you suck Oh Jesus. Why must you do what now? Why must you suck? Like <laughs> it's so hard. Like what what Okay, all right. Like I've been there before in life. Like you, you really trying to kill me right now. And oh I need my you to. God. I need you to stop. <laughs> like you kind of be pulling away. <laughs> like with that, <laughs> <laughs> trying to be cute. Like oh yeah. girl, yeah, yeah. yeah like it feel good. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, like whoa. Y'all yeah. need to learn something, and think about it. Would you like somebody to bite you? Look, are we talking on. about the clitoris? Nah, I mean, yeah. Uh-huh. Man in the boat. Okay, the man in the boat. <laughs> The little man in the boat, but yeah, like honestly though, I've 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 heard so many stories. Okay, I've heard so many. I've had one bad experience with receiving head, and that was all the the bad experience I needed in my life to understand that not everybody is doing it right. Because some people be out here bragging, and what? No, what? Stop! Stop it! Like you? No, no. And then you gotta be like, um, y'all should not brag. Yeah, just self prayers and a recommendation, guys. Mm-mm. Listen, I tell everybody, I'm a dead fuck. Don't no, I'm not it. Don't fantasize about me. I just okay. Be well, here. I'm not that modest. You be like, oh, you think you could? Fu-? Yeah, I know. You oh, feel me? Jesus. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to hold you up. Yeah. All right, Daga Master. Cho. I'm just. That's all. But that's where I'm gonna leave it. I I know I can. Moving along. What's next? Carry on. But we're not gonna sit here and debate, and you're not gonna debate me. Yeah. That's that part is. Okay, like I for a little bit, it's cute. It's like okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, you got some. But look, and then, and then what happens when you end up look, bro? Bend up in Ancona. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Legs push back or something. Boy, like, come on, go away. Yeah, see, I'm not into the whole entertaining conversation. Oh, you gonna? I'm gonna do the. Uh, mm. All right, just I'll, do that shit. I'm exactly. I'm gonna. Okay, cool. All right. Nah, so. sometimes you feel me. You gotta let it brew. 
<laughs> Sometimes <laughs> this is what I hear. It's nice when you let it brew and then you feel me, then you know the link up, then it's like pow. <laughs> this is what I hear. People tell me and like, you know. Oh. You let it brew and it simmer and yeah, overnight like crock me? pot and then yeah, it just bubble steam like on. soup. Bubble like soup. This yeah. nigga. <laughs> just, you run this damn cat sound. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> You are a mess. Bubbles like soup, y'all. Oh my goodness. Y'all know when it y'all know when you make it bubble a little bit and nice. Okay. You act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I, I am well aware. I am well aware. Oh Jesus. Wow. So <clears throat> what happened? Sorry. No, I fast me at first. Oh. Eh. Look at this. But she a lot. Man, I <laughs> Well, you know. Um, you might know who I'm talking about if you hear this. You might know who you are, Man, I yard. Mm. <clears throat> well, Love you, you know, <laughs> I'm here for everybody playing house and all that fun stuff. So, you know, them say I said them keep them it good. So, you know. <laughs> Yo, y'all can't see her face right now. <laughs> 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 Happy Halloween, y'all. This girl tried to draw me out. Let me Happy- tell you, this girl tried to draw me out, y'all, and I won't allow it. Happy, ho- what Happy you Halloween. What else you got? What else you got? Who else did something? I don't know who did nothing. I wasn't I wasn't watching nobody too tough this I don't week. Know. What happened this week? I don't know. Everybody just talking about voting. Because, you know, election really? is next week. That's a lot. No, no, no. Maybe the people Something I'm else occurred, man. What happened? I don't know. I just feel like something, something else happened. I don't know. Something messy? Yeah, like... Gay. I'm what's feeling her, like it was gay though. What's her name? Um, in American music, uh, what you call it? Cardi B and Nicki Minaj still let their fuckery. Can we not and say we did, yo? Like <laughs> that was it. I am so. S- that was it. Yo, only thing I can say they too grown, bro. Yeah. It's how old are they? They're like how? I just really just want to think like about having enough? all this money and being so bothered tonight. Go go to sleep. Bruh. Go sleep. Go Y'all sleep. can hear from my black ass. You, look, you looking for me? I'm ducked look off in what? the cut. Who no. you looking for? To no. argue with? I don't argue with people. No. Cool, yeah. Look for who? Listen, if you couldn't even find me to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Listen. They got to figure that out, though. And a lot of it, I just feel like it's annoying. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, I just want to be seen at this point. Mm-hmm. All right, arguing about nothing. A fight that didn't happen. Then if you ever want to fight that bad, then go fight. Bye. You know that's not going to happen, though. Exactly. So It's not. Oh, it. we didn't talk about this last week. I just remembered oh, how, um, what's your name? Jesus Christ. Tracy Chapman. How she sued um, Nicki Minaj for the uh, for the song, for her using the song. But no, what I wanted to talk about was how I've never heard the Tracy Chapman version. All I heard was a Jamaican version by Foxy Brown <laughs> with a nice beat. Mm-hmm. Because... I went to go look it up and I was like, let me go listen to the song one more time because I was like, wait, which one did Nicki Minaj actually like, you know, use? And mm-hmm. it was a sample from the remake for, by Fox. It wasn't even like the original beat or anything that she used. I was like, oh. and I was mm-hmm. just going through her music and I was like, okay, let me just listen to all the Jamaican remixes to this. Hear this one, this one, because this. No, not that one. No, it's not. That's this that sounds one. like the happy. Okay, I don't know how to work that. That's what title. Ugh. This one excited. Yeah, watch him tonight. <laughs> yeah, watch jukebox. Yeah. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, see that? Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, and then when the original one come on, it's quiet because. What that? You sure that's not it? <laughs> <laughs> you sure that's not it? Wait, didn't I pull it up on Wait. mine? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it sound like it It don't sound. No. We have no. one too. Jesus, everybody remade it? Hey. Hey. <laughs> boy, sound boy. You give up? Watch it. So you got to take up what you can't manage. <laughs> Look at that. Lie down here, man. Where is it? Watch it. I had it queued. I don't know where it is no more. Oh, this is Fast Car. No. Where what? is it? Here it is. Only your work one, so. Oh, I know what the problem is. What is? Exactly. Listen. Indian? No. <laughs> That's way too No. <laughs> let me let me skip through the song so this you song can. 
Yeah. Girl, never. Yeah. This that's the original never. version. You got a Jamaican one ready? <laughs> well, the this is fast round? car. No, one. Why you didn't just have it ready? <laughs> See? That's the one. That's the one exactly cuz you're looking at me so, like I'm oh, crazy. So, no, but we never know where to But it was next to the speaker, but watch no. It. Watch it. <laughs> so no. hold on. Okay, so she's so foxy. No, no, I don't believe Weird. so because we looked it up and they no because this is on Apple Music. It's on Tidal. It's out there. So oh, what's your name? Her, Tracy Chapman. She need to come again. Yeah, she sued Nicki Minaj because they played the song and she didn't make no money off it or nothing. Just the fact that, but I just feel like she just never liked Nicki Minaj and didn't want her name or her music Facts. associated with her. Period. It's petty. I love it. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. But that just brought to my realization, like yo. You are not the person I thought you were because the original song, like you, this is the same reaction. I was what the fuck is this? I was like, this? I was mm-hmm. like, this is not it. I was, yo, Jamaicans, y'all need to stop teething people music. <laughs> 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 like the amount of song we're on the teeth, I'm mech over there, like 90s. When, who was it? Whitney Houston? Oh my God, what was that song? Judgment Day? But all the Jamaican remixes, you go to all these First parties. Of all, they I need you to pull up on Sanchez. Oh, Jesus. I need you to pull up on um, when the Goose. Yeah, there's we did them a lot. two there. Listen, Cover Kings. Listen, <laughs> Sanchez couldn't stop for himself, you know. Me never know what. <laughs> yeah, what where Ghost there? Ghost. Wow. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Wow. <laughs> Me don't know which part's in there. I have no idea. Yo. Might I drop one, two song? Who was it? Um, you remember that um was it the BBC? What is it called? The <laughs> one extra? Uh-huh. The one extra something where they had like all the um what was it, Borobantana and everybody like doing their little freestyle mm-hmm. and I was just like, oh Jesus. Yeah, just I'm nice, old. huh? Hey. Yeah. Yo. Be a drop foot thing. Mm-hmm. What you was playing over there? That was for us? No, you oh, must select so bad. I Listen, to why you ain't set up the turntables and do look at something? See that? <laughs> See up there already. <laughs> Just find a couple of chewing. Yeah, plug up a hard drive or something, so. But anyways, <laughs> you have nothing else you have to say? Got me, me good enough? Um, you have something nice to talk about. Um, anything for Sabo? We don't know anything. Anything else you want to get off of your no, chest? No, I'm not about my chest. You know, October is ending, and you know, a new month is no, starting tomorrow. No, I've just decided to go forth in life with as. Less stress as possible mm-hmm. because me can't bother. Me sorry. Yeah. Me sorry. Me lose weight. Me look good, you know. Boy. So me just go sh- my friend. No watch me. No watch me. Yes. Watch me. So no, no my but damn ya. No, but for real. <laughs> I've lately a lot of things when I watch like stress. I kill people. Mm-hmm. Little by little, and me no one dead so and um mm-hmm. so. If you, you know, contribute to the stress, you kind of forget pushback Black or you gotta and go. Delete. It's just, that's just it for right now. I mean, yeah. not hype on nobody, nothing like that, but it's a lot. Like, mm-mm. I was talking about the other day how, you know, I'm not necessarily religious or anything like that, but the one prayer that's always been like, Serenity? Eminent, of course, in my life. Like, I had it on my wallpaper on my phone at one time, it was a Serenity Prayer. And it is. Like, literally, that if you don't live by that, like, yagamad yourself. Facts. And if you don't know what it says, it's basically, in my own words, give me the strength to change the things that I can. Give me the strength to change to accept, accept the things that I can't. And mm-hmm. give me the Cour- courage to, to know the, know the, the difference. difference. Yeah. So, you know, if you're in a situation and you don't know if the you can courage, change wisdom? it. One yeah, of all of them. The wisdom all to know the difference. Them, all of, It's yeah. much longer than that. I just summed it yeah, up in but, three lines. Yeah, but it's just to... It's what it is. If you, like, if you cannot change it, bro, don't even, wa- don't even yeah. lose your head over it. You cannot change it, bro. Exactly. For real, for and real. if you can change it, you know, find a strength to change That's it. That's up to you at the end. You know what I'm saying? And then the that toughest one... That goes back one, to what I was talking about, y'all. 
find the strength okay <laughs> yeah to change the things y'all. that so, you a are lot of able single to people after you done and then <laughs> you know what i'm saying and the biggest thing of all this courage or the wisdom to know the difference between the two if to know whether or not you can change it or you can't because you can imagine yourself thinking you could change something when you can't mm-hmm. okay so that's one thing that i press i try my best and you can't change people it. and you can't Yo, change how people feel about you you shouldn't try to okay and if someone is just not into you like that they're not into you like that you know what i'm saying and if you really don't like somebody like that you just don't like them like that don't force yourself yeah that's a dub as well stop forcing yourself into stuff that don't make no damn sense and then y'all unhappy at night y'all going to sleep crying y'all crying in the shower so nobody can hear you all types mm-hmm. of shit you sad as fuck Woo! Like just let cut it out. At you. Yeah, like I'm just I just see a lot of stress and all that complaining on a daily basis, y'all. For real, for real. Yeah. So I mean, you get one life, live it. That's to all I'm your saying, standard. Yo. I don't want to. I don't. Yeah. Forget the stress. Shit. To your there's, standard. There's already other shit going on, like real that's shit that's trying to really come at us. Like you don't need all that extra shit. Yeah. Especially if it's supposed to be someone that's rocking out with you. You don't need that in your house and outside too. Mm-hmm. That's that's really not it. Yeah, you ain't got no peace and no calm at any yeah. time. Yeah, I was Even gonna your say house. your house should be a sanctuary. That should yeah. be where you go to unwind and relax and you know de stress and who you know shake it off. But exactly. if you go home and things still tense, like where do you get to kick back and you know just mm-hmm. let your hair down in a sense, take off your brazier and you know just chill. Like you need somewhere where you can do that. And if you have to leave your house for that that's not cool because yeah. that's i mean shit you paying to stay there like you that's, the that's where you set up shop you know what i'm saying that, you, you know you're in real problems with that though. yeah so for real, for real. you know and i always want to talk about self-love and all that good stuff put yourself first even if you feel like you're being selfish and that other people will benefit from this more like dog when you drop dung dead what am i gonna say i ain't even gonna hold y'all up yo <laughs> when you a little bit selfish yo Life Woo! look a bit sweeter. Look a bit sweeter. I am not even going to hold you up. Sleep be like... Hmm. What? Sleep be nice. Okay. Deep. I'll, I'll wake when breeze blow. Listen. <laughs> Sleep deep. No Why fuck. are you such a grandma? <laughs> Go away. What, who says that? You heard what she said? Who raised me though? Yeah, your granny, <laughs> but gosh. Gosh, bring up all the... For real, yo. If you grew your granny with turn granny too. Real song. For real. <laughs> Hold on, like going. Granny, right? Probably. Who's singing? I don't know. Jukebox. General degree. Oh, Jesus. Boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For real. <laughs> mm. But. Sleep is great. It's great. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to be happy single. You can be happy in a relationship. But if you're not okay. happy in the relationship, try to be happy single. <laughs> like, like mama always said. Mm-hmm. No, make nobody kill you. Uh, Period. That's it. And on that note. And that's all you need. And on that note, hmm. we thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Don't Did forget to follow us, like us, listen, share. If if listen, if you heard a word here tonight, Jam Sugar underscore on Instagram. If you heard a word here tonight, you share this word with a friend. Okay. Play this word again to yourself. And if somebody you know going through like a stressful relationship and all that, Honestly. tell them to find it, listen, all that. Put it in a car. Listen. All phone, of it. All that. There's no excuse. Spotify, you could put it on your desktop at work. Yes. Instead of the fuck we all listening to on the radio. Well, yes, sir. We talk a little <clears throat> shit too, but at the end of the day, it's self-love. Make sure you preserve yourself. And somebody you... going to feel this message. I hope so. I hope so. I really genuinely hope so. From the Somebody depths gonna of my soul. Not Somebody even gonna on, shit for real. Listen, not even on no petty <laughs> shit. I really... Je- Yo, yes you. Are you me a chat? I really hope that you feel this. And do something about it. Don't in just your say your damn soul. Bar. You're heard in your soul. We want you to hear it in your soul. Mm. Yes. Because it don't make no sense. Cha. Mm. Anyways. <clears throat> if you or anyone you know has any poetry or short stories that you'd like to share... We would leave it anonymous. So wait a minute. I could bring some poetry up here. You said this the last time. Yes. You want to spit something? On. I don't... <laughs> you, you, you dropping a little spoken. Where we go? You know I'm a little shy you know, now. Snap, snap, You know snap. I'm shy now. Hold on. I might have to go search through them. Okay. Archives, I don't think I have anything. Ready, ready? Yeah, I just think it's a whole bunch of like little notes. Mm-hmm. Well, while, while she's browsing, don't forget that we are on TuneIn Radio. We're on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, 
We are on SoundCloud. Everywhere. Listen, follow us, like us on Facebook. Everywhere. We got a couple of videos coming on YouTube. They one by one, just in, ease on itself. You Ooh. know, we got uh, Google Play Music. Ooh. You can follow me and listen to me chat shit on uh, Spotify. I'm on Instagram. And I'm on Twitter. Something I was writing, talking about I, what? Everything is different now. I don't operate the same. What? Oh, Jesus. Wait. Y'all can't have that. Pull up. No, we're not pulling it up. Okay. Money pull up. We'll have $2. What about mm. this? Let's see. This will... Okay, I found this and y'all can hold this for tonight. Maybe I'm a dreamer, dreaming of things that will never be and that are not for me no matter how much I want them to be. Who needed that? Ooh. Good night. Drip me up, friend. All right. So, a little short piece by them, Sugar the One and Only. A snap, snap two times for the friend. Mm-hmm. You feel me, yo? Uh, if you have anything like this, or, you know, a friend who has anything like this that might want to throw some words or share some words. I or, know a writer. Et cetera. She might want to share something. You know, I know I know a few as well. You know, send them to askpointless at gmail.com. It's A-S-K-P-O-I-N-T. L E S S S is treat. Do people send you questions as well? Yeah, you can send me questions. All Do day. that. Yeah, people send me questions. Like the thing about mm-hmm. pegging, somebody actually sent me oh. a question about that, and yeah, all that fun stuff. So yeah, <laughs> so send mm-hmm. your question. I just okay. I, they didn't want to be you know mentioned, so I just spun oh, it really? in there like, oh, I saw something online and just oh, um, word it like that because nope. I respect okay. people's privacy all day, all day. So yeah, submit that. Uh, don't forget to listen, share, like, forward, rate us, give us five stars, all of the fun stuff, all the social media outlets. Um, like I said, every other week, keeping a bad mind feelings, them two in a self. Y'all and be safe out there Halloween. Always. Enjoy it and be safe. And this weekend coming up, etc. You know, um, just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate. Thank you again for tuning in. Bye. Every episode. Really? Under your mother foolishness. <laughs>